bitches and Nicole welcome back to my channel if you are new hit that subscribe button down below um today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this makeup look that I just did using my new makeup products that I got so therefore I'm about to show you the new makeup products that I just got um well I've had them for a while but I haven't been on here in a while to show you guys so first things first is I got the Anastasia glow kit um I got some new lashes these double ups can't wait to put these on um and then i got the single ones for when i do my lash extensions i got the um urban decay naked heat palette um let's see i got a new pack of real technique beauty blenders um i already used one of them it's out i got a new tarte highlighter this one right here um the ben nye banana powder i don't know if you guys have seen this or not but i got that as well um, I got this, which was $60. It's, it has like 12 different, um, Kat Von D liquid lips in there, and they're matte. So I got this. Um, I repurchased the Modern Renaissance palette because someone stole my other one. Um, and then I also got the Tarte Toasted palette, this one right here. And then, um, I also got some Tarte blush because I've been wanting blush for like the winter time. And then I got a whole bunch of new brushes. These are some of my new Real Technique brushes that I got. Um, I got, and then I got a whole bunch of new like eyeshadow brushes. These are all new. And there's a whole bunch more over here that you guys will probably see throughout my videos. And then I got this little brush case of more brushes. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I got that new foundation that I think you guys have already seen. The um, Clinique Beyond Perfecting 2-in-1 Foundation. So it works as a concealer and foundation, which is pretty great. So those are pretty much all my new products. Um, Hannah's here with me today Hi guys. to watch me do this makeup look for y'all. So if y'all want to see how I did this, then keep on watching. Okay, guys. To start this makeup look out, I'm going to be using one of my new products that you guys just seen. It's going to be the Naked Heat Palette. Um, and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Glow Kit. This is also one of the new products. Um, the Clinique 2-in-1 Foundation. My Anastasia Dip Brow with the pencil some contour and yeah okay to start this makeup off look I'm gonna be using the wet and wild photo focus face primer this one right here and I'm just gonna take some of that and put it all over my face I get like that much and then just rub it all over fill in those pores I've been breaking out lately. I'm really pale. My skin is all irritated. Hannah. <laughs> Same. You guys like Hannah's hair? Isn't it cute? I just helped cut it and style her new extensions. Alright, now that my face is primed, I'm going to be taking the um, NYX Honey Do Me Up. I love this shit, it has like little gold flakes in it. It's really good to keep your face like moisturized and stuff underneath the foundation. So I just take that and it has like a little flat little type deal. And I just dip it in there and put it on my hands and rub it together. And then put that all over my face as well. Go down the neck a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking the Clinique Beyond Perfecting 2 in 1 foundation. I'm in the shade 11 Honey. If you can see that. And it's kind of like a stick foundation, and then I just stick it on all over. I kind of just like rub it in a little bit and then I use my bead blender to blend it out. This is a little dark for my 
my skin because I was tan, but I'm so pale right now. A little on my neck since I'm so pale, I want it to blend down. Alright, now that that's on, I'm just gonna blend it out with my damp beauty blender. And this isn't like a full matte foundation, it has um, it's like more of a natural finish because I was kind of getting tired of a full matte foundation because it was like drying my skin out. And plus I put powders on top of it, so I wanted to try this one. My freaking out so bad. Ugh. And then just blend it down in my neck. Done. I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows with the um, Anastasia the brush the 7B brush and the pomade and um, if you guys don't know I am in the color chocolate but um, I just recently dyed my hair really really dark so it is just a tiny bit light but it still works good so um, I am gonna be looking in my mirror down here to do my eyebrows because you gotta make sure them bitches are precise And if you're like, so like for me, like my dip brow, even I always keep it closed. Sometimes it gets a little dry. So what I'll do is I'll take my Tatcha Louis Dewy Skin Mist, this one, and I'll just spray a squirt in it. And it like re makes the pomade not so dry now. So I just like spray it in there, like so. And it just kind of just makes it better, I think. I'm so excited that I'm finally doing it right now. It's been forever, and I miss you guys so much. But you know, I'll get you to yourself back to normal. <sighs> Eyebrows are such a stressor. Don't you feel like that? Yes. I feel like eyebrows are such a stressor. Eyebrows and winged eyeliner. I never wear winged eyeliner just because I still haven't even got that down. And it just stresses me out. Sick. Every time I do it... And then it messes up your whole look. Yeah, and then if you fuck up, you just gotta take off all your makeup. Yeah. And it's like, I don't, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> Alright, my eyebrows are done. 
Okay, now I'm going to be taking my Ben Nye Banana Powder and setting under my eyes. I don't even use concealer because the foundation is kind of like a two-in-one type deal. So it kind of saves me time, so I don't even use concealer. I just bake the hell under my under eyes. Where is my Ben Nye Banana Powder? Oh, I found it. And then I use this to bake my eyes with. And I just dump it out on my vanity. And then I'm gonna take this Real Technique sponge, a dry one, and I use the flat side. And then I just like pack it on there, and then I just pack it on my eyes. take my uh, this cream contour stick to contour with but I don't know where it's at so um actually I really want it meh meh is this it? yeah oh I found Thanks, it Anna. <laughs> um I really like this fit me contour stick I'm like almost out can you tell and then I'm just gonna cut my jaw lines with that and my nose so I go like that, bring it up, I do the same to the other side, and I bring it up, and then I go along my whole jawline, like so, and then I take it and I go down both sides of my nose, and then under, like that, and then I'll put two lines over here and two lines over there, all contoured up. And then I will blend that out using the same beauty blender I used for my foundation and just buff it out. Sometimes I do this before I bake, but today I just didn't do that. And then just buff that out all over. Same with the other side. <laughs> for a second and then I'll go back with some of that Benai banana powder and go right down the center of my nose like like so and then I'll blend those out wipe off the setting powder with this brush right here and this is the elf complexion brush but it's like big and fluffy so I just swipe it off like so and then I'll do the same with the nose just swipe it off a little bit Now 
I'm going to be doing these eyeballs. So I'm going to be using, um, you know, one of the new products that I just showed you guys, and it's going to be the Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette. And for the base color, I'm going to take this e.l.f. brush right here, and I'm going to use the color Sauced. This one right here. I'm gonna put that all over my lid. Alright, so I'm gonna. Sorry, something happened with my camera, so I had to do something, but like I said, just finish blending this color out. And I bring it like all the way, almost like all the way up to like my eyebrow almost. Alright, now that I did that, I'm going to be taking this Real Technique blending brush. This is my favorite brush of all time. I love using it. And I'm going to take the color called Heat Devil from this palette. And I'm just going to be deepening up the crease in the outer corners of my eyeballs. taking the color En Fuego, I think that's how you say it, it's this one right here, and I'm just going to put that on the outer edges of my eyes. It's like right in here. Like so, and then I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. brush right here, and I'm going to be taking that color that I just used, that darker color, this one right here, and I'm going to be putting that under my eyes. Like so. And then I'm going to be taking this flat packer brush. Um, this, this is by BH Cosmetics and it's the number 8. And I'm going to be taking this color called Lumbre. This one right here, this kind of shimmery, and I'm going to put that on my lid and on the inner corners. Just to get a little shimmer. Alright. Now, I'm going to be taking this Fit Me bronzer right here and just darkening up the cheekbones just a little bit. So just I just like that with this real technique fluffy brush and just kind of darken up my face since I'm so pale. And then I just go over where I kind of contoured, brush a little down my neck. And 
my battery's gonna die soon. Oh no. Can I make this quick? Do this up here. Okay. Now I'm gonna be taking. Where'd my brush go? I'm gonna be taking this Real Technique brush right here. Um, I don't know what number it is, it's kind of angled. And I'm gonna be taking um, the Tarte, it's right here. This Tarte blush, I'm just putting on a little blush today. It is in the shade Parte. I got it as a gift actually on my birthday from Sephora. It's like a birthday gift. And I'm just gonna put a little on the apples on my cheeks. I like doing it when it's like colder out, you know? Cause it's like cute. <laughs> those two together using this elf blush brush actually it's kind of like tapered and then I just mix the two up and then I like look at it. Ooh, hello. hello hello glow Battery doesn't die on me. I know. Put a little on the chin. Give it well. Nose. You know, they're just gonna be glowing everywhere. And then I do a little bit above the brows. Like so. Alright, um, mascara time. Um, I'm gonna be using the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I know it's like rubbing off the color, but I love it. It's just like better than sex mascara, I swear. Works great. So I'm gonna put this on and I'll be right back. Okay, I just did my mascara. So this makeup look is like pretty much complete. Um, the only thing I left to do is uh, spray my face and put on a lippy. So I'm gonna be taking the Urban Decay All Nighter, which is I'm um, almost out of. And I'm just gonna do a little, mm, a little spray. This makeup look is finally complete. As you can see, um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked the way I did this makeup look. Um, comment down below new video ideas for me because now I'm back at it. Um, I love you guys so much and I've missed you and I can't wait to start making more videos again for you guys. So um, I love you guys so much and have a fantabulous day or night whenever you see this. Love you guys. Bye.